Wally Joyner is going to stay in the ball game. Andres Galarraga comes out. Joyner will play at first base. And tonight, Mike Hampton did not have all the stuff that he needed to win. And there were six walks, one of them intentional. Benny Agbayani trying to make a play on a bases loaded base hit. Two runs scored. Ball got away. Galarraga kept coming. Error charged to Piazza. Another one scored. Then it was Millwood. He's got a chance to win his sixth in this game. And then the Atlanta dance at second base deked everybody out. They still got the out. They went back. They smiled all the way through this one, especially when Jordan delivered the three run home. This pitch is fouled back by Derek Bell and just off the edge of the screen and Lopez's glove. One strike count on Derek Bell. Bottom of the eighth inning and an 8 1 lead. Atlanta. And yes, the police force was present here again, just in case, as they will be all weekend long. It has been a very quiet night, especially for the Mets. Strike on the outside corner. Bell with a double in the fourth inning. Bullpen, quiet. Millwood leaving the ball game with a chance to win it. Langard on in relief. And the pitch is taken away. Millwood just kind of settled in as the ball game rolled along, and Mets could not get to him. Lengert's delivery is fouled off down the right field line. Like a lot of guys, Gary, guys that are power pitchers, sometimes it takes one or two innings for the fastball to really kick in where you can overpower somebody. And Millwood, Millwood did not get his first strikeout until the fourth inning. And that was the third out of the inning. Then he went on to strike out for the next five. Puffer yeah. as it rolled on. Yeah, he got he was real strong in, uh, in the fourth, fifth, and sixth inning. Bell, another base hit. That is a hot bat. So Bell has picked up two hits, two for four in the ball game. Take a look at our cheap game summary here as the Braves lead it eight to one. Javi Lopez, a couple of walks and a couple of singles with three RBIs. Kevin Millwood, a great job he did tonight for the Braves pitching staff. Just six hits and one earned run, a couple of walks and six strikeouts. Mike Hampton struggled but kept his team in the ballgame. And Jordan, the big three run home run, top of the eighth inning. That's kind of put the icing on the cake for the Atlanta Braves. Mets now is seven hits in the game. As Millwood worked these seven innings, giving up six hits and only one run. He walked two and struck out six, trying to go three and zero in his career against the Mets with a win here tonight. Edgardo Alfonso, one for three. Pretty big cut on that one. I was thinking the same thing, Gary. It's not very often you see Edgardo Alfonso take a swing, which seems like it's out of control, where he's over swinging the bat. And it certainly looked like at that time. And then afterwards, it looked like he was maybe hurt his wrist again. Take a look at this no balls and a strike. Fastball. Wow. You don't see him swing that hard very often. Hit this one to center. Andrew Jones back there. And no basket catch. Up 8 to 1. I thought it might see it. Up 8 to 1. And he, you know, you uh, know, he, you know, give him some grief about that. That little duo at second and short. That's about a half a basket catch. They're hollering at him. Varus <laughs> is at second base. Varus started hollering at him. Look at him. Looking in. That Varus has given him the what for. Get that glove up. What a life, huh? Hit, hit 320 in the big leagues, playing every day, playing center field, and running everything in sight. 22 years old. Just loving him. Just maybe nine in his Two coach. gold gloves already. I know. 22. I know. <laughs> so Piazza's seven game hit streak may have to be extended right here. It may not have another chance at it. He has gone 0 for 3. 17 game streak. He's brought his average up to that 359 mark. Guarantee you. More concerned with the win 
than the streak. But he's going to get the streak. For Cal's throw goes into the dugout. It'll be a single and an error. And Piazza will make his way down to second, and Bell will go over to third. So the young shortstop up and fired that one way wide is 14th error. Great range there and then a rookie play right here. One of the things that you'll learn as you go along in the big leagues. Don't let one mistake. Cause another one. And the first part of that wasn't necessarily a mistake either. 18 game hit streak for Mike Piazza. Robin Ventura. One down, two in scoring position here in the eighth. Ventura's had an 0 for 2 and a walk 0 for 6 in the two games. So I got a miss. One thing Piazza may not get to do is continue that RBI streak. The major league record for RBIs in consecutive games is 17, held by Ray Grimes of the Cubs back in 1922. Along with the hit streak, Piazza's driven in at least one in his last 12. May not get another chance. That one foul back. No ball, two strike count. Obviously, that record we were talking about earlier, that record by Grimes, 17 games with an RBI consecutively, is the major league record. So it has to be the National League record, too, doesn't it? Gatz is going to need extra innings or a long eighth and ninth to get another chance. Two strike count on Ventura. Wengert misses inside. Don Wengert out of the bullpen. It was a late acquisition. He was signed by the Braves after the Astros released him in spring training and then made it up to the big club on May 29 when the former Met Greg McMichael went on the DL. Wengert's delivery is outside, two and two to Ventura. Don Wengert's been around uh, Oakland, San Diego, Cubs, Kansas City, Astros, and now Atlanta. And with Remlinger out of there, as we said, the bullpen of the Braves is shorthanded. That's why the Millwood's performance and the offense has really mattered tonight. Towards second base, Kilby Overis. Makes the play to Wally Joyner, and that will do it. Ventura retired, and so are the Mets. Or two down, I'm sorry. That won't do it. Must be that pizza I ordered. Two down. Over to third base goes Piazza with Bell scoring, and it is an 8 2 game. I thought it was a third out, too. I don't know why I thought that. The double play? Or the I don't know. Not the double play, the ball that Piazza hit. It's not for us to know. Two down, runner at third base. We have a little brain cramp. Well, we get a little help there. Oh, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. On the scoreboard. Well, how many outs did it say? It said two. Right there. Want to correct that? Ah, twos. <laughs> uh, Todd Zeal. We like Sorry, those, Todd. We like those possessions. Didn't mean to take away your RBI, Robin Ventura. And a strike taken. With that, Bell, of course, crosses the plate, and that will set a mark for the Mets as Derek Bell has scored in 10 consecutive games. That is a new mark, breaking the old mark of nine consecutive games in which a Met had scored a run. Bell's got 10. Todd Zeal, 0 2 delivery. And the pitch just missed inside. Zeal delivering the base hit in the seventh inning and scored on the RBI single. Matt Franco, who came on as a pinch hitter, delivered it. Now Zeal trying to get Piazza in from third base. One two delivery. And Will. Base hit into left center field. Piazza scores, and it's 8 3.
So the air has proved costly in this inning helping to set up those two runs. And one of the things this does it gets the Mets closer to that you get in the middle of the lineup again in the ninth inning. There's Leo Mazzoni Bobby Cox. Is he going to go to the phone probably. Yeah you're down by five runs is all lost no because you got a chance to turn this lineup over and get down to Alfonso and Piazza and Bell again. Well, you may not tie the ball game up here, but if you can turn this, what Bobby Valentine is thinking, if you can turn this lineup over, get one more base hit where you got a chance to get back to that top of that lineup again. Peyton had a single his last time up, 11 game hit streak for him. Mets now have nine hits in the game. They're only being out hit 10 9, but trail 8 3. Sorry, Bionni on deck. Strike taken by Peyton. We're talking those about those big outs, Gary. This, these last two outs, ever since Ventura was up, they've all been big outs because of that one fact of turning the lineup. If they don't get some that the bottom of the lineup out, they're going to turn in the ninth and have to face the middle of that oh. Met lineup again. If anybody's left in the dugout, if anybody's alive after that foul ball, stay alert, stay alive. See uh, El Fargo <laughs> over there protecting after the fact. That went in and hit the back wall. One and two. Jay Payton, the third hottest hitter in June in the National League. Payton batting 402 this month. One two delivery to him. Off the fist. That's going to fall in. Base hit. Zeal stops at second. So Payton, two for four. And the Mets keeping this inning alive. Have their tenth hit of the game. Well, sometimes you hit line drives. Sometimes you pull your hands in and get as much on the bat as you possibly can. That's exactly what Jay Payton did. And they creep closer and closer. The Mets do to turn this lineup over, and Bobby Cox is going to go to the bullpen. Terry Leitenberg has been ready in the bullpen and Bobby Cox is going to go there. So Don Wenger who comes on in relief in the eighth cannot get that third out. And it's eight three now. Don Wenger unable to get it done two thirds of an inning giving up three hits two runs so far one costly error in the inning. And with two away he'll sit and watch Kerry Leitenberg. Leitenberg's record two and one. This is his 28th appearance for the Atlanta Braves. He has six saves, 25 innings pitch, 22 hits, and just eight walks. Gary Leitenberg will face Benny Agbayani. Runners at first and second and two down. Leitenberg, who had 30 saves in 98, had a torn elbow ligament. And last year missed it all. Now trying to make the comeback. Leitenberg had the save last night. And they did not want to go to Leitenberg tonight. But with Mike Remlinger unable to pitch in the bullpen short, he's back. Benny Agbayani. Missed outside. He has struck out twice, grounded out one for seven in this series. You think Leo Mazzoni's rocking right now on that bench over yeah, there? A little worried. Boy, he stopped. Uh, maybe he's upset. 2 0 pitch. Right field, down the line, over Jordan, foul ball. There you go. One thing I couldn't understand, you got a short bullpen. Why in the world they take Millwood out? Pitch count, number of pitches again, big strong guy, strapper from North Carolina. That's just the way it is, I guess. Harry Mulholland. Gary Leitenberg. 
Two ball, one strike count, two down. Agbayani waiting. Fastball. Agbayani has faced him only once, 0 for 1. Two ball, two strike count. Look how Mark Johnson is in the on deck circle. He's way away from the on deck batter's box. Way away. Maybe a few pitchers are chasing him out of there. 2 2 delivery. Check swing. Runners will stay. Lopez blocked it in front of him. Did not go around. Crew chief Bruce Fremont. He's getting some heat from Bobby Cox, too, on the 2 2 pitch. How far does he have to go? And you know what? Bruce could hear him, too, because he was answering him. I don't think anybody asked for the call. Home plate umpire did. Did he? Yeah. Three, two, two on. Runners go. Agbayani fouls it off. Maybe these series aren't tense, these matchups between these two teams. Three two they go again inside ball four. They're loaded. Mark Johnson sent up by Bobby Valentine as the pinch hitter for K Mac. Well, the Mets jiggled their roster for this chance. Zeal, single, Peyton, single, Agbayani, walk. They brought Mark Johnson up to the minors. To have a little more left handed power on the bench to throw up against the Atlanta Braves in this series. Here he is. Outside ball one. Mark Johnson, of course, has had very few at bats. Only 14 as a pinch hitter with the Mets, though. Two for six with one pinch hit home run. Outside corner strike from Lightenberg, one and one. Had his first home run as a Met pinch hit homer against Florida, sixth pinch hit home run of his career. Up and down a couple of times from Norfolk. One one pitch. Good pitch by Lightenberg, one and two. Sinker on the outside part of the plate. Every pitch that he's thrown has been out there. One for a ball and two for strikes. Where do you think he's going to go now? Right where he makes his money. One and two. Tried to get him to chase one. Two ball, two strike count. Every pitch. <laughs> Almost in a trance. 2-2-2 two, two, two away, bases full. 8-3 Braves lead. Johnson stays away. 3-2 count, two down. Bases loaded. Leitenberg to Johnson. He walked in a run. And that will get Lopez and Leo Mazzoni to the mound. Fourteen pitches since Leitenberg came into the ball game. Nine of them have been for balls. I don't 
know if that's a pleasant conversation or what. Well, I think the message has been sent. Terry Mulholland, the left-hander, is ready if needed. Obviously, they do not want to bring him in here with Mora, I Bell, wonder, Alfonso. I wonder where Rocker was against Johnson. 1-0 pitch. Rocker worked the inning last night and has been out there in the bullpen sitting, but we've not seen him up throwing. Bell on deck. Two all count. Two and one on Mora. That is single in the sixth inning. I looked at the first pitch that has not been that sinker on the right side of the plate as you're looking into home plate. Looked like a little nickel slider. Gary Leitenberg, bases loaded, 2 1 delivery. 3 and 1 to Mora. Mike Hampton gave up a bases loaded walk in the first inning to Javi Lopez. Leitenberg has given up a bases loaded walk to Johnson. May give up another one. Three and two. Sacks full of Mets. Peyton Agbayani and Johnson. Harrison Ventura watching. 3 2. And he walked another one. It's 8 to 5. done. That's Lenny Harris. He's going to walk him. He walked him. The bases are still loaded and a left hander coming on to face Derek Bell. Gary Leitenberg faced three hitters and he walked them all. Two of them with the bases loaded. Terry Mulholland, the veteran left-hander. Former starter. Now works out of the bullpen. Ewing's going to run at second base for Johnson. Bases loaded, two down. Mets have scored four runs here in the eighth inning. Two of them on bases loaded walks. Derek Bell, one of the hottest bats in the lineup, two hits tonight. First pitch from Mulholland is foul back. And just missed it, too. Derek Bell he usually tries to hit the ball to right center field. It looked like you just pull off a tad on the fastball. You check the runners around the bases. Yep, still loaded. He has torn up Terry Mulholland in his career. A 417 batting average and two home runs. Yet Bobby Cox, knowing that, could not leave the right hander Leitenberg in when he walked all three he faced and does, has not had Rocker up in the bullpen in this game, the right hander. Not available. And that pitch is inside. Two ball, one strike count. Got ahead with the first pitch, strike one, and the last two have not been close. Two ball, one strike count on Bell. Unbelievable. Three and one. There have been three consecutive walks. Bell, who started this inning with a single, up for the second time. And he walks! Eight to six! <laughs> Two 
Talk about a collapse by your bullpen. Edgardo Alfonso, bases loaded. It is an 8 6 Atlanta lead. And a strike taken on the inside corner as Mulholland trying to find a way to get a third out that will not come for the Braves as the Mets have battled for five runs in the eighth inning. And a two strike count. Atlanta staff has now thrown 50 pitches in this inning. 50. And that probably is the best one right there of the of the lot. 50 pitches in one inning. Alfonso four for 19 with one home run lifetime off Millwood. Off Mulholland brother. Inside. After there were two down, Zeal singled, Peyton singled, Agbayani, Johnson, Mora, and Bell have all drawn walks. Jammed him. Still a ball and two strikes. If you, if you were pitching, wouldn't you want to like go through the order so you get to Alfonso and Piazza? Isn't that the way you'd go about it? Perfect. <laughs> if you're wearing those color uniforms. Holy mackerel. <laughs> that last pitch pretty good to Alfonso. He was fooled by it. Looked like a breaking ball on the inside part of the plate. One ball, two strikes, two down. The third. That's a base hit. Picking it up. No play at the plate. Tie game. A two RBI single. Elgato Alfonso. Lockhart could not get it at third. And with two down, the runners were flying. Take a look at the Met bench. Yeah, they can't believe it either. Seven runs in the inning for the Mets. The Braves try to put it out of reach with three runs in the eighth and one in the seventh. They went up eight to one. And they have graciously given it right back here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Oh my. You think the Atlanta Braves still have some work to do about putting their team together? Jammed house at Shea. What a show. 8-8. Eight, eight. Piazza, two down. Mets have scored six runs. The two away. Piazza rips it. Will it stay fair? Goodbye, home run! Mike Piazza! A three run homer! 11 to 
His 22nd home run of the year. RBI 66, 67, 68. Got him. A 10 run eighth inning, an 11 to 8 Mets lead. Piazza has extended his hit streak twice in this inning. Varis, Ventura retired.